the oppressed are allowed once every few years to decide which particular representatives of the oppressing class are to represent and repress them. The last capitalist we hang shall be the one who sold us the rope. Reason has always existed, but not always in a reasonable form. I am nothing but I must be everything. Let the ruling classes tremble at a communistic revolution. The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. They have a world to win. Workingmen of all countries unite. Go on, get out. Last words are for fools who haven't said enough. To be radical is to grasp things by the root. It is not the consciousness of men that determines their being, but on the contrary, their social being that determines their consciousness. Religion is the impotence of the human mind to deal with occurrences it cannot understand. Communism is the riddle of history solved, and it knows itself to be this solution. In proportion, therefore, as the repulsiveness of the work increases, the wage decreases. There is no royal road to science, and only those who do not dread the fatiguing climb of its steep paths have a chance of gaining its luminous summits. Religion is the sigh of the oppressed creature, the heart of a heartless world, and the soul of solace conditions. It is the opium of the people. Society does not consist of individuals, but expresses the sum of interrelations, the relations within which these individuals stand. Capitalism. Teach a man to fish, but the fish he catches aren't his. They belong to the person paying him to fish, and if he's lucky, he might get paid enough to buy a few fish for himself. Labor in the white skin can never free itself, as long as labor in the black skin is branded. The increase in value of the world of things is directly proportional to the decrease in value of the human world. The education of all children, from the moment that they can get along without a mother's care, shall be in state institutions. If you love without evoking love in return, if through the vital expression of yourself as a loving person you fail to become a loved person, then your love is impotent, it is a misfortune. Moments are the elements of profit. A commodity appears at first sight an extremely obvious, trivial thing. But its analysis brings out that it is a very strange thing, abounding in metaphysical subtleties and theological niceties. You must be aware that the reward for labor and quantity of labor are quite disparate things. Necessity is blind until it becomes conscious. Freedom is the consciousness of necessity. The ruling ideas of each age have ever been the ideas of its ruling class. The tradition of past generations weighs like the Alps on the brains of the living. To be radical is to go to the root of the matter. For man, however, the root is man himself. Men make their own history but they do not make it as they please. The production of too many useful things results in too many useless people. Merely quantitative differences, beyond a certain point, pass into qualitative changes. 
The ideas of the ruling class are in every epoch the ruling ideas. All mysteries which lead theory to mysticism find their rational solution in human practice and in the comprehension of this practice. Man makes his own history, but he does not make it out of the whole cloth. He does not make it out of conditions chosen by himself, but out of such as he finds close at hand. The more of himself man attributes to God, the less he has left in himself. History is not like some individual person, which uses men to achieve its ends. History is nothing but the actions of men in pursuit of their ends. Ignorance never yet helped anybody. Man makes religion, religion does not make man. Religion is indeed man's self-consciousness and self-awareness, as long as he has not found his feet in the universe. The new era differs from the old, chiefly in that the lash begins to imagine itself possessed of genius. Every opinion based on scientific criticism I welcome. Wages are a direct consequence of estranged labor, and estranged labor is the direct cause of private property. Society as a whole is more and more splitting up into two great hostile camps. Every emancipation is a restoration of the human world, and of human relationships to man himself. Capital is dead labor, which, vampire-like, lives only by sucking living labor, and lives the more, the more labor it sucks. Self-contempt is a serpent, that ever gnaws at one's breath, sucking the lifeblood from one's own heart and mixing it with the poison of misanthropy and despair. In fact, the proposition that man's species nature is estranged from him means, that one man is estranged from the other, as each of them is from man's essential nature. The alienation of man thus appeared as the fundamental evil of capitalist society. Every one of our relationships with nature and man must be a definite expression of our real, individual life. All science would be superfluous if the outward appearance and the essence of things directly coincided. Workers of the world unite. You have nothing to lose but your chains. The first requisite for the happiness of the people is the abolition of religion. As a matter of fact, the methods of primitive accumulation are anything but idyllic. Surround yourself with people who make you happy. People who make you laugh, who help you when you're in need. People who genuinely care. They are the ones worth keeping in your life. The tradition of all dead generations weighs like a nightmare on the brains of the living. Keep people from their history, and they are easily controlled. Accumulation of wealth at one pole is at the same time accumulation of misery, agony of toil, slavery, ignorance, brutality, mental degradation, at the opposite pole. The meaning of peace is the absence of opposition to socialism. When the sufferers learn to think, then the thinkers will learn to suffer. Catch a man a fish, and you can sell it to him. Teach a man to fish, and you ruin a wonderful business opportunity. From each according to his abilities, to each according to his needs. 
There must be something rotten in the very core of a social system which increases its wealth without diminishing its misery. Follow your own path, no matter what people say.